Hello and welcome to my short demonstration of the SV Viewfinder. The SV Viewfinder is a nice little tool that will help you on your picture composition. So you select the SV Viewfinder cam and in the attributes under SV Viewfinder you will find all the attributes to blend in the different modes you may use. So we've got the rule of thirds, the golden ratio, I've also got the combination of the primary golden ratio and the secondary golden ratio, you may want to use that. I've got the golden spiral, although this spiral isn't that exact. Normally the, the edges of the spiral are connected to here and here. Maybe the formula I've used for this spiral isn't that correct, but for picture composition it will be enough. Alright, then we have some diagonals. This is for more dynamic picture composition and you also can have diagonals that are a bit more leaned and also some A and V shapes for more symmetric compositions. The diagonals are constructed with the golden ratio. So you can see the diagonal just goes from this point to this point and this point to this point, while the left triangle variation just divides this square in half. So you can use all these different shapes and forms to keep you oriented in your picture composition. Down here I've, I've got some, some global values. You can change the distance of the viewfinder. You can also turn this frame off. Or below here is a quick button that turns the whole viewfinder off no matter how much you've selected. Then you also can change colors for all these attributes so you don't get confused with all these lines. Uh, when you want to see the lines while you are changing values in here, you can just select the SV Viewfinder, put it outside of your camera, and now when your camera is selected you can still see the colors of the lines, for example, all of these. So now you can turn this maybe red, and it gets actualized automatically. But before you re rotate or move your camera, you should set the SV Viewfinder as a child of your camera again, Otherwise, the SV Viewfinder won't move together with your camera. So keep the SV Viewfinder down here for translations and rotations. You can also flip some of these lines if you want to do a symmetric composition like this one, for example. And on the golden spiral, you can flip it and flop it. So you can, can put the golden spiral in every corner of your rectangle. If you want one line to be thicker than another, you can do this right here for example I've got the golden ratio and want to have the the primary golden ratio a bit thicker so I can adjust this value right here and I've got a thicker line where my primary golden ratio will be but as soon as the SV viewfinder gets closer to the camera your lines will become thicker again so if I reduce this value down to 50 the SV Viewfinder gets closer and if I uh, go forward in the timeline all the calculations get updated and you can see now the lines are way thicker so I have to readjust these lines again. So you may have noticed that I can't move the SV Viewfinder camera directly and I've got to use the target camera. This setup is for the situation you want to copy the SV Viewfinder camera into another scene and override all the values of your current camera to the SV Viewfinder cam. So for this, let's just create a new scene and create a camera. And now we want the SV Viewfinder to replace this camera. So we go to SV Viewfinder, copy the camera, paste it, and then we go into Expresso. And right here you will see that these, that these two boxes are yellow so there's data missing. The first thing you would do is to go to your render settings and drag and drop your render setting into, into this box so the SV Viewfinder knows which aspect ratio you are using and can calculate the lines. After that we would like to replace all the attributes of the SV Viewfinder by the attributes of our actual camera and when I drag the camera in here you will see the SV Viewfinder jumps immediately at the position of the new camera and you now can use the SV Viewfinder instead of your camera. If your camera is already animated, 
you can just put the SV viewfinder as a child of the camera, delete all of, all of this, and now the SV viewfinder still stays in the same place as your camera, and you can also do a slight offset if you want to optimize your picture composition. So this means when you are in the SV viewfinder scene, you can select the Expresso tag and just delete all this down here. And now you can move the SV viewfinder cam freely and also just delete the target camera. So this all sounds nice and sexy, but you may ask, how should I use this? Therefore, I've included some example scenes for you. And let's start with the example for the rule of thirds. So first we load the example. Then I'll activate the rule of thirds, reduce the distance. All right. And here you can see two characters. This character is our important character. Therefore, he gets two thirds of the screen space. And this is his opponent. He's less important and therefore only gets one third of the screen space. Now, let me show you another example for the rule of thirds. Therefore, I will show you a short clip of my film Fears. As you can see, in this shot the camera revolves around the sphere and reveals this light setup right here. Now I've rendered a software preview of the scene with the SV viewfinder enabled in the viewport so you can see my picture composition flaws. While the camera revolves, the sphere always gets the same amount of space in the view. And the sphere also doesn't get past the half of the screen which makes this shot very even. And now, when we land on the light setup, the audience can't tell directly which of both elements is more important, because both elements only get one third of the screen. So now let's have a look at the composition I've created when using the SV viewfinder. At the beginning, my sphere gets two thirds of the viewing space. And while we evolve around the sphere, the sphere gets less and less important. You see, it takes less and less space in our view. And now, and now this light setup right here gets way more important and we can guide the view of the audience way better to this new setup. And this is what the SV viewfinder is meant for. It will enhance your picture composition, guide your audience and will get an overall better imagery in your movies. So let's head forward to the next example. We've got to select the golden ratio for that and you can see if you're getting a nice image composition if you put the horizon line either on this line or on this line. And you can also use the focal points for important parts. And if you work with a primary and secondary golden ratio, you can see that I've put the sun in the secondary golden ratio and the tree in the focal point of the primary golden ratio. All right, let's go to the next example. This is for a dynamic shot. Therefore, I use the diagonals and you can see my figure is aligned along these lines, while the spare is aligned on this line. You automatically get a very dynamic picture, and you can see the spare head is hitting the occult center, which is also a center of attention. So let's finally hit to the last example. This is also a dynamic shot, but I flipped this triangle, so I get a more symmetric image composition. I also can deselect the diagonal. And now you can see these two guys are running in each other. And actually I can flip the diagonal. So now I've got this dynamic line. And then I can use the golden spiral and pick an important point. Maybe, maybe this guy hits this guy on the knee with the knife he has in his hand. So I will use the golden spiral and flip it and flop it until it hits the knee. So I make sure his knee hits the occult center or the golden spiral. You can also see when I flip this triangle over, you will see his knee is exactly in the occult center. 